In October 2024, Iran's missile strikes on Israel reignited a long-standing debate about the true effectiveness of ballistic missiles in modern warfare. Despite their dramatic imagery and the potential for destruction, the real-world impact of these weapons seems less decisive than their reputation suggests. The recent attacks, launched by Iran in April and October, have raised questions about whether ballistic missiles are truly the game-changer they are often made out to be. In April, Iran unleashed a barrage of 300 ballistic missiles and drones aimed at Israel. The response from Israeli and Allied defense systems was swift and effective. Most of the incoming projectiles were intercepted, and only a small fraction caused any damage. The attack was undeniably newsworthy, with fiery explosions and missiles streaking across the night sky. But the aftermath was far less dramatic. Israel's critical infrastructure remained operational, public morale seemed unaffected, and the military continued its operations with minimal disruption. In October, a subsequent missile strike from Iran saw a higher percentage of missiles breach Israel's defenses. Yet, despite this, the damage inflicted was still relatively minor, reinforcing the growing perception that ballistic missiles, while powerful, may not be the decisive weapons they are often portrayed to be. These attacks, though significant, did not have the expected strategic impact, leaving Israel largely unscathed and continuing to fight back. The experience of Ukraine in the ongoing conflict with Russia provides further evidence of the limited effectiveness of ballistic missile strikes in breaking the resolve of a nation. Over the past two years, Ukraine has endured repeated Russian missile barges aimed at infrastructure and military targets. Yet, despite these strikes, the country's fighting capacity has remained intact and public morale has largely remained unbroken. This resilience challenges the notion that missile attacks can swiftly cripple a nation's war effort. The ability of a nation to withstand missile attacks without suffering a complete collapse suggests that while ballistic missiles may cause damage, they are unlikely to determine the outcome of a war. In fact, the real impact of missile strikes may be more psychological than strategic, serving to provoke fear and disrupt normal life rather than decisively crippling the enemy's military operations. Ballistic missiles, with their high speed and ability to deliver destructive payloads over long distances, have been a symbol of military power since World War II. The V-2 rockets used by Nazi Germany marked the beginning of the missile age, and their legacy continues today. At present, more than 30 countries possess ballistic missile capabilities, further fueling concerns about their potential for widespread devastation. Despite their evolution, the history of warfare suggests that missiles rarely decide conflicts on their own. In the 1980s, during the Iran-Iraq War, both sides launched extensive missile attacks, yet neither side's resolve was significantly undermined. Similarly, in 2015, Houthi rebels launched missiles at Saudi Arabia, but the kingdom was not brought to its knees. In each of these cases, the impact of the missile barges, while notable, did not result in the collapse of the targeted forces. This trend suggests that even powerful missile strikes are unlikely to break the will of a population or military. Today's ballistic missiles are more accurate than their predecessors, aided by advanced guidance systems such as GPS. Yet, even the most sophisticated missiles still face challenges in delivering pinpoint strikes. The reality is that many missiles miss their intended targets, and the damage they cause is often less than anticipated. This stands in stark contrast to the massive bombing raids of World War II, where millions of tons of bombs were dropped on Germany with little impact on the country's ability to continue fighting. For example, despite having a large arsenal of missiles, estimated to be around 3,000, Iran's missile strikes on Israel suggest that even a full-scale launch would likely result in significant interception and minimal damage. This discrepancy highlights a crucial point. While ballistic missiles may cause destruction, they are not as effective in achieving decisive military victories as other forms of warfare, such as large-scale bombing campaigns or ground operations. While ballistic missiles may not be the game-changing weapons they are often made out to be, 
their proliferation remains a significant concern. These weapons can be used for political leverage, to intimidate adversaries, or to target critical infrastructure in an effort to undermine the enemy's ability to function. However, as demonstrated by the recent strikes on Israel, missiles alone are unlikely to secure a military victory. Their symbolic power may be far greater than their practical impact on the battlefield. In conclusion, while ballistic missiles retain their place in the modern arsenal of many nations, their effectiveness as decisive weapons of war is increasingly called into question. As Israel's experience with Iran's missile strike shows, and as Ukraine's resilience against Russian missile attacks demonstrates, the true impact of ballistic missiles may be less about overwhelming force and more about sustaining fear and uncertainty. Despite their destructive potential, these weapons are unlikely to dictate the outcome of conflicts on their own.